Rise and shine, Valentines. So, I don't do rants very often, but I'm going to do a rant this morning. So, you guys, please bear with me. I'm just heading into work this morning, waving at neighbors. All right, so, this is something that's pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. And a lot of it has to do because I work in the retail industry. Pipe smoking, guys, is like falling to the wayside. Um, brick and mortar stores are shutting down. And I know why. It's because the people that run them suck. Now, I'm putting a lot of people in a generalization here. And I know that's like not right. And not all pipe shops smoke suck. But all pipe shops in Arizona for tobacco. Pipe shops, brick and mortar stores in Arizona suck. There is not one good one here. Let me give you an example. I'm on the radio last night, a uh, podcast listening to the Country Squire, and they're talking about how excited they are, and they're a pipe shop out of Jackson, Mississippi, I think, and they're talking about how excited they are that um, International Pipe Smoking Day is coming up. I've heard Shane Ireland from Smoking Pipes mention International Pope's Pipe Smoking Day. I've heard people from Pipes and Cigars mention International Pipe Smoking Day. Every major forum, Reddit, every major manufacturer, every major um, media outlet for the industry is talking about International Pipe Smoking Day. Okay? Which is cool. It's, it's a big day. It's like our holiday for us. Pipe smokers. So, I call the only real pipe store in Arizona, in Phoenix. I'm not going to mention their name. And I was super nice. And I said, hey, uh, are you guys doing anything special? Any kind of like meetings or events for International Pipe Smoking Day this year? I'm not going to say who answered the phone because I know the person that answered the phone is the owner. Again, we're not going to use names here. And he literally says, International Pipe Smoking Day, what is that? I've never heard of that before. Really? Really? Okay, guys. Like, it's no secret I sell guns for a living. That would be like if... I would like if a customer called me at, at our shop <clears throat> and said, Hey, I was just wondering if you guys knew what time Shot Show was this year. And I said, Shot Show, what is that? If you guys don't know, Shot Show is the biggest like gun expo in the world. Um, all right, guys, I got my daily caffeine fix. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been so congested in the morning. I think it's because everything's blooming here in Arizona. Um, Anyways, back to what we were talking about. So, two reasons why retail pipe smoking stores, establishments, brick and mortar stores in Arizona are dead. Or dying, at least. And guys, we can fix this. I know there's people that are, can watch this that can help. One, here's the number one thing why. Because the salespeople are not passionate about what they're selling. It's like you walk into pipe stores in Arizona and it's like cigars, 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 $14 cigars, $15 cigars, $20 cigars, three or four pipe tobacco tins. Okay. That's understandable. That might be your business plan. But know about those three or four tins. Look, back, I don't want to go back to the gun industry all the time, but this is what I do for a living. I don't care about... Winchester lever actions. I don't. I don't care about them. They're old men guns. I don't give a crap about Marlin 60 22 action rifles. They're old guy guns. But I know about them so that when that old guy, that's that 70 year old man comes in, I'm looking for my Marlin 60. I'm knowledgeable enough to get excited about it, to sell him the product so that he comes back and buys other things and I continue to make money and like live. And that's what blows my mind about the pipe industry here in Arizona. So first reason why pipe, the, the brick and mortar pipe store in Arizona is gone. And second is the pricing. Come on guys, smokingpipes.com. Awesome company, super good customer service. 
I can go right now and buy a tin of golden sliced Orly for like, let's just average $10 a tin, okay? That's pretty fair, I think. Why the hell would I buy it in your brick and mortar store for $24? Like, I know you guys haven't seen this side of me before where I'm ranting, but $24? What kind of a markup is that? Are you trying to make triple on your tobacco? That gold Norlick slice sure is going to be aged because it's going to be sitting there for four years before someone buys it. Like, what are you thinking? Peterson pipes, like the $100 pipe, $150. Smoking pipes, $100. And then here comes the third reason, customer service. So many times I've walked into uh, brick and mortar stores here in Arizona, like pipe stores who it quotes themselves to be a pipe store. And if you guys are from Arizona, you know what pipe store I'm talking about. I mean, it's pretty common. Like, there's not many of them. Do the math. You walk in, and all four of their associates are smoking cigars, which is fine. And they don't know squat, diddly crap about pipe store. All they know about is cigars. And, it, and, it, and half of that, they're pulling out their butt. So, I don't know, guys. I'm telling you, if I had the skin, if I had the money, I would open my own brick-and-mortar pipe store, and I would have a little tiny rack of cigars, like some Arturo Fuente, some, Rom some like, you know, standard, just $8 cigars for my cigar people. Because, I mean, you should cater to everyone. And then I would have an entire store of pipes, hand-blended tobacco, tins, house blends like that sounds like an awesome job to me that's just it, caught, it it takes money to make money and i'm telling you guys they would make so much money at this establishment that doesn't even know what international pipe smoking day is they had 20 to 30 people one thursday inside their lounge smoking pipes that's amazing that's awesome that's like a heavy number of people that's like a lot of money to be made so, anyways, guys, I'm not trying to be like Debbie Downer today. I hope everyone has a good day. I hope some of the people in the pipe community out here, they especially tout themselves as being a pipe stop store, like, do some research, man. It's International Pipe Smoking Day, for God's sakes. Like, maybe I'm just, like, got a freaking stick up my butt or something today, but, geez, that's like, that's like working in the baseball field industry. That's like working for Turner Field in Atlanta. Or the Yankee Stadium and not knowing when the World Series is. That's like, how the heck do you go through a day, like, without knowing that? And the guy that answered the phone, like, I know who it was. He was the freaking owner of the store. Like, this is something that's not new. And selling a golden Orlick splice for 20-something dollars a tin. And it's just, it blows my mind, guys. Uh, let's get together and, like maybe make Arizona a little bit better and, and that's the thing like I want to start my own pipe club out here like not to get on like a super random tangent but there's the Arizona pipe club and they're probably like all a bunch of cool dudes they all meet on every other Saturday like in the middle of the day and I don't know other times or anything and I work during that time so I had an idea to pitch the, the pipe shop that I was at to give like pipe smokers a discount and have their uh, pipe club in there. I don't know if I should even like pitch it now because they don't even know what International Pipe Smoking Day is. All right, my peeps, I'm rolling into work. I'm gonna like let my blood pressure like calm down a little bit. I'm sorry I got a little like ranty this morning, but I'm just very passionate about my hobbies. Like, I, I want to see pipe smoking as a fragile one. I think pipe smoking uh, is like three percent of all tobacco consumed in the whole world goes through pipe smokers. And like, it's a fragile thing. It's like a beautiful thing. And I just want it to be protected. And the people that are supposed to protect it are supposed to be the people that are like in the industry. And I just don't see that happening. They're just like going through the routine. And I think a lot of that is because of that 90s boom where um, cigars like took a big hit, but like a big boom, I mean. So maybe they're just thinking in their brains like, oh, if I, uh, if no one buys a single pipe today or a single like pouch of tobacco or a single tin of tobacco, we'll be okay because we'll sell cigars. 
This is Matthew guys with Brass Tacks um, coming at you. I'm going to go sell some guns, make some money, and uh, you know, you guys like go t kick ass at your day and have a, a great day and I'll talk to you later.